Hi folks, it's Noel here from the Active Newcastle team. Just here to quickly talk to you about one of the, the five ways of well-being. Uh, today we are looking at how to connect with people. Um, so connecting is important because this is all about being in touch with people and maintaining or forming new relationships. Uh, we are social animals, each and every one of us, but re relationships are essential to our well-being. The big issue is at the minute, there are normal ways of connecting with people aren't really available to us. So it's not like we can meet up with our friends, our family at the pub, at the gym, uh, meeting up for a, going to the cafe or something like that. We can't nip round to the neighbours for a cuppa and a chat. We can't even have a laugh with our pals at work because a lot of work are stuck at home. So it's important we still find ways to connect with people. And one of the main old school ways, get the phone out. As the saying goes, it's good to talk. So pick that phone up, give somebody a buzz, a friend or a family uh, member. It doesn't need to be anything to, in particular to chat about. Just chat about how they're getting on, if they're feeling safe, that type of stuff. You could talk about what you've been watching on TV, what the first thing you're going to do after lockdown is over. Just simple things like that. That phone call might not mean a lot to you, but it could mean a, the world to that person that you, you've reached out to there. Another way, another old school way, is to write a letter. And obviously wash your hands, make sure everything's clean before that, but get your feelings down on paper, uh, write it down, post it out to them, and they might get a nice little surprise through the post that they weren't expecting, could make their day. Obviously there's uh, more modern ways of uh, getting in touch with people and connecting, mainly through uh, social media use. So we've got things like Facebook, we've got WhatsApp, the Skype, the Zoom, that type of stuff. And these uh, options actually give you the chance to make some face-to-face -face contact as well, which is really, really important. Uh, myself and my family, we schedule in a call, a group call twice a week through WhatsApp, where we just have general chit chat. You can face call everyone, so we're seeing everyone. I'm seeing my nieces and nephews, my brothers and sisters, my mum and dad. It's really good for all our well-being, just checking up with each other, having a laugh, making sure everyone's safe. Um, in this period of lockdown, I'm not going to lie, I've found it a great way of reconnecting with people as well. So a lot of my old friends that I've maybe lost touch with, especially some of my old football mates, I've reconnected with them. Through Facebook, we've been swapping challenges and quiz questions and things like that, switching old photos or we're playing together. And it's been really good for us to, to reconnect that way, keep our morale up. And another good thing is we're all going to meet back up, have a little bit reunion afterwards and swap some old stories and reminisce. So that is positive that can come from this situation. Even this message now is a way of connecting with people, a way of me connecting with you. Um, and it would be great if you could connect back by giving us a thumbs up or a like on the page or just posting a little comment to say you've got the message and that you've, you've connected back with that would be brilliant. So I hope you found that useful. But before I go, just remember, even though we are practicing social distancing, doesn't mean we'll have to be far apart. So get in touch with people with a method you're comfortable with and connect. Stay happy, folks. I'll see you later in the week.